you said earlier you wasn't too convinced. But listen, we are the only people that fit the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Hold that. I know I'm, I'm sorry. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Real quick, because I'm going to show you something real quick. It's real simple and easy. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So shall come to pass. That's future tense. Remember, we have to understand reading comprehension. So shall come to pass is future tense from this time. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So a curse is what? A bad thing, right? Is it not? It's a bad thing, right? It's not a good thing. Read 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So, where we at right now? We in the city, right? Hey, real quick. We in the city right now, right? right. Smell the air. Bring it out. You, you, you smell that? Right. Is that not cursed in the city? Right. That's cursed. Look at all the trash everywhere when you walk up and down the street. Right. It don't look like that in Middletown. Right. It don't look like that in St. Matthews. Bring it out. The most I said we going to be what? Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. So look, right here, slavery. When we is cursed in the field. Bring it out. Look at us picking the cotton and Bring stuff, right? You, you, you think that changed? It ain't changed. We still are caught in our enemy's land That's in right. their possession. That's right. So guess what they did? They changed, when they changed with the industrial jobs, they just took you out of the field and put you in servitude at jobs. That's, That's why they say, what job field do you work in? That's right. That's cursed in the city, cursed in the field. That's right. That's, 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 that's us, bro. That only fits us. Now give me Isaiah. Because I'm going to show you something, bro. We just, we already proved that the Most High God is black. He's here for the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Right. And I say so-called because that's not who we are. Right. But that's who we know ourselves as. So that's what we use. Right. See what I'm saying? But the Most High God called us Israel, right. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Manasseh, right. Ephraim, right. Issachar, right. Asher, right. Naphtali. Right. That's what God calls us, man. But listen to this real quick, bro. You've been listening for a minute. And I'm dealing with you because, bro... We need our warriors here. The warriors fight for the people. Christ was a warrior. Christ died a black man's death. They literally lynched that man. And there's going to be people of our own that hate us. But we can't worry about that. We can't worry about that. That's why God is calling his warriors right now. But you know what? Our people are stubborn. We don't want to hear the truth. And this verse going to prove it. Give me that in Isaiah. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So, an ox is a big, dumb animal. It will work as long as the person working it is working. It might refuse to move for water, but usually it's going to work as long as that person's working it. He said, and the ass. The ass is a donkey. Right. Guess what? The donkey will do the same thing. If you put a carrot in front of a donkey, it will walk forever to try to get that carrot. So the Most High is comparing us to two dumb animals. Read it again. The ox knows his owner. So he said the ox knows who owns him. Come on. And the ass, his master's crib. And it said the donkey knows his master's house. Because crib mean what? Now real quick, sidebar. Who else on the earth calls a house a crib. Bring it out. See how see how the most high is so genius. He wrote this thousands of years ago. Right. And he knew today we was gonna call our house what? The crib. That's right. So that's how you know the most high God is a black man. That's right. Wait that's it right. again. The ox know of his owner uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. So he said even the donkey know where his master lives. Come on. But Israel by who? But Israel So he said look that those dumb animals know who own them and who their master is. He said, but Israel does not know. We don't know, bruh. We don't know who we are. And guess the worst part of it is, come on. My people does not consider. We don't even consider it. Look at everybody riding around. We care about the Greekest fashions. Give me, give me, give me that. And uh, second, uh, Mac first Maccabees. Yes. Second, Mac second Maccabees. That a packer for real quick handed. Because you know what? Our people love the Greekest fashions. 
And I'm going to tell you why this is a Greek as fascists. We hear, what, what, what do we hear? Everybody's out doing what today, bro? What are all people out here doing today? Everybody's up happy. They spending money. What they doing? What's today? Actually, though, today is the Lord's Sabbath day. But everybody is saying it's derby, right? So look, what does so-called black and Hispanic and Native American people have to do with derby? Bring it out. What do we got to do? I'm, I'm going to tell you. The first derby race was ran in 1875. Where was our people in 1875? What did Broadway look like in 1875? We were slaves. It was all white down here. It was all white. So guess what? Let's speed it up today. You might say it's different. It ain't nothing different about it. They have a, they have a, the, what they do is they have a high holy day they set up, and you know who pays for it? We do. All the white people down there at Churchill down, drunk, having a good time. You know how the city pays the people to clean up? They patrol this area and lock all us black people up and charge you the money for the tickets and stuff. You fund their celebration. That's what we do, and we don't even consider, because what did Isaiah say? We don't consider, right? We don't consider who we are. Those are curses. Now, this is Greek as fashion because... so-called white people, Europeans, they are Greek. They come from the Greeks. This is what happened to our people in the Greek captivity. Read that. Second Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 15. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. So we didn't want to be honored by our God. We didn't want to be honored by what God set up for us. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. We didn't want to be called that. We didn't want to do the things that he told us to do. Come on. But, liking the glory of the Grecians, liking the glory of who? The Grecians. You know who the Grecians are? They the Greeks. That's right. The so-called Greeks. They ruled the world at one time. They had us in captivity as well. You ever heard of Alexander the, well, they call him Alexander the Great. I call him Alexander the Greek. That's right. Trash. He's garbage. At one time, though, he conquered the whole planet. Trash. And he was Trash. extremely sweet. Yes. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Bring it so out. now, what he did once he conquered, he captured our people, and when he captured us, he turned us away from our law, statutes, and commandments. Right. He made it a law that nobody could celebrate or practice being an Israelite. Right. And so as time went on, other wicked men rose up and got us fully into what they did. That's and right. this is what's going on right now. Read that. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, uh -huh. but liking the glory of the Grecians, best of all. Because look, that's what we like. We like the glory of the white man. Now, a lot of y'all might say you don't, but what did brothers say? I got on Gucci. I got on Prada. I got on who is else? Those are white people. Those are white men. What'd they say? I'm driving a Maybach. I got a Mercedes. I got a Benzo, bro. I got foreigns. A foreign is what? European. Those are white men. So we, just like then, now, we still love the glory of who? Not setting by the honors of their fathers, uh -huh. but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. So we like that thing best. If the, if the white man pat us on the back, we'd be like, yes, sir, boy. Hey, bro, you know, hey, hey, the managers just gave me a promotion, gave me a raise, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what we be smiling. You know what I'm saying? Come on, read. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 5. Uh -huh. The altar also was filled with profane things uh -huh. which the law forbidden. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So, what he just read was when uh, Alexander the Great took over, him, he told his uh, commanders, they divided up the earth and they made a law. Read that again. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. So they made a law. They said, hey, we're going to keep those people oppressed. That's right. We're going to keep them down. Right. So you know how we're going to do it? 
We're going to make it a law. They can't practice their rules. They can't do what they're supposed to do. Come on. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. You know why that's heavy? We couldn't say we was Israelites. You know what? That didn't just start. That's why they change our name every 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 time. When, when you go fill out an application, you have black, sometimes you got African-American, right. Afro-American. Right. They change our name all the time because they don't want us to know we the Israelites. Hey, hold up. They don't want us to know. And guess what? Right. That didn't just hap start happening. Hold your finger there. Give me Psalms 83. Because it happened again right here. I'm We're going to read it to you. Where they said, no, we, do, we cannot let them be a nation. We can't let them be a nation. If they become a nation, they're going to know who they are, and they're going to follow God's laws. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. There's that hate word again. God said they that hate thee have lifted up the head, meaning they got bold, proud. Come on. They have taken crafty counsel. What? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Crafty counsel. But look, crafty counsel, what, the, what is that? See what I mean? Look, hold on, hold on. Now see, look, you've been listening. All praises, you have. But what we're bringing out is very good information, all right? A lot of good information. And you, 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 you have, say what now? Yeah, this is our school right here. This is the address. You got to come and learn, bro, because guess what? Knowing you're an Israelite is only like half the battle. There's a requirement. That's something that comes with it. That's right. And right now, you're listening. It's like a, um, what is that? A, a sweet song. What is that? Uh, right, right. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Yeah, I want that. Because like, you like what you're hearing, right? You believe it. It sounds good, right? But what are we supposed to do? What are we? It makes sense, right? So what, what are we supposed to do? All right, but but what is the word going to do? What, how's that going to help us get out of our condition? What's going to actually change? We can speak words and it sounds good, but what's going to bring forth the action? For instance, us, right? We got to what? We got to do. We got to put in the word. Read that. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. So, God is saying, look, we are a very lovely song to him. All our people, they'll blow their horn, they'll wave, they'll, hey, black power. We are like a what? A very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice. So, we, people like hearing people that can sing good, right? It sounds good to us. We love hearing it, right? Like you just said, you like what you're hearing. You like hearing it. Read the rest. And can play well on an instrument. So, we love hearing that, right? Come on. For they hear thy words, but they do not do them. They do what? They do not do them. You hear that? So you're hearing the word, and right now you just said, hey, I got to go. You know why? You already got plans for tonight, don't you? You finna go celebrate Derby with the family? Finna go to the family, though? Right, right. See what I mean, bro? This is the, this is the Lord's Sabbath day. You done got the best information on the planet, and it's like a sweet song to you. Right. It's like a, it's like Luther Vandross just sung that song. You're like, hey, I like that. All right, y'all, I'm out. Back, back to sinning. Back to captivity. Come on, bro. We got to, we got to move with some urgency. That's right. I'm definitely. We got to move. Give me that. What's that? Uh, yeah, give me that. That's a good. I was gonna get songs, but get me Romans. That's a bad one. Because look, all our people out here, they see us. That's what they do. Black power. Yeah, brother. Hey, y'all, some. We love what y'all doing. Keep doing what y'all doing. They need it. No, you need it. All of us need it. And we got to take action, bro. You got to come to the school. Because, look, unlike everybody else, you're here listening. So you know. You know too much now. See what I'm saying? Now you're going to be held accountable. That's why people don't want to hear us. Because when they, when they hear it, then now they got to do something about it. They got to submit to the word or they got to willfully ignore it. Read that. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing that time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. So God said, wake up. Now is the time for you to wake up out of our sleep. Because that's what we do as so-called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're walking around sleep. Come on. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Our salvation is here. People have been talking about it in the wrong way, though. Christianity. 
uh, these are the last days you heard your grandmama them say that? Guess what? They had no clue. But now, it's actually, it's revealed that it's the last days. Come on. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 